Welcome to the Folks Learn. Today we will learn how to update and insert data in database from Data Grid View. You need to add a button and data grid view to form 1. When you click the save button your data save into the database. You need to create a new database and phone book table. You need to set ID column as a primary key and identity is true. Auto increment allows a unique number to be generated when a new record is inserted into a table. Very often we would like the value of the primary key field to be created automatically every time a new record is inserted. We use the table adapter to insert, update, delete data. Table adapters provide communication between your application and a database. More specifically, a table adapter connects to a database, executes queries or stored procedures, and either returns a new data table populated with the return data or fills an existing data table with the return data. Table adapters are also used to send updated data from your application back to the database. Table adapters are created with a dataset designer inside of strongly typed data sets. You can create table adapters during creation of a new dataset with the data source configuration wizard. You can also create table adapters in existing data sets with the table adapter configuration wizard, or by dragging database objects from server explorer, onto the dataset designer. While table adapters are designed with the Datasa designer, the table adapter classes generated are not generated as nested classes of the data set. They are located in a separate namespace specific to each dataset.
you can see the connection string auto add in the config file. We always use connection string in forms that we design, but when you design a big software you should set the connection string for once and use it in many forms. In this method you use the name of the connection string instead of the connection string text. Every time you want to change the connection string just change the main connection string in the app config file. You can use the SQL profiler to monitor SQL command. SQL Server Profiler is a rich interface to create and manage traces and analyze and replay trace results. The events are saved in a trace file that can later be analyzed or used to replay a specific series of steps when trying to diagnose a problem. Thank you for watching this video.